I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about causes of lower abdominal pain in children. Now, probably the most common cause of lower abdominal pain in children is constipation. Sometimes you know that your child's constipated. They only poop every two or three days. It hurts. They want to avoid it. They cry. There's blood in the potty when they go to poop. That's kind of a no-brainer. However, a lot of young children, once they can go to the potty on their own, stop reporting their bowel habits to you. And I'd say the majority of parents whose children are badly constipated don't know that their child is constipated. They haven't really kept track of when they're stooling or how they're stooling. Most of us don't go out of the way to go in and check our children's poop on a regular basis. And the child may not really be paying very much attention. They get through the process and they're not really thinking about it anymore, even if it was difficult and painful. So if your child is having sort of a crampy belly pain, especially if it's down on the lower left side or just kind of all over, it comes and goes. Maybe it's a little bit worse after they eat. It's better after they poop. There's a good chance there's constipation, and you might keep track of how the stool habits are going. Also, look at how much milk your child is drinking. Milk protein seems to make constipation worse. If your child is getting more than a cup or two of milk a day, you might cut that back substantially and see if the constipation gets better. Now, bad constipation usually requires medical intervention with stool softeners. The most common is polyethylene glycol, which is sold as Miralax. It's available over the counter, and you want to start with a whole lot of it to get all that stool out, and then you want to cut back to a daily dose to keep the stool soft and provide two to three soft stools a day, really for six to 12 months. It takes a long time to fix bad constipation. It took a long time to get that way, and it's not a rapid fix. Go ahead and work with your child's doctor to find a regimen that's going to work out well for you. Now, the scariest cause of lower abdominal pain in children is appendicitis. This is a medical and surgical emergency. The hallmark of appendicitis is that the pain generally starts as sort of a diffuse pain all over the belly, and then gradually it moves into what we call the right lower quadrant, right down here on the right side. That pain tends to get worse with movement, with jumping. As it gets worse, children can't really jump up and down or even walk easily. They may have fever. They may have vomiting and diarrhea to go with it. If that pain is making that pattern, starts general, and then moves down to the right side, you absolutely want to get that child checked out emergently to see if he or she needs hospitalization or surgery for appendicitis. Now, there are a lot of other rarer causes of abdominal pain in children. Sometimes a urinary tract infection can present as abdominal pain or a kidney stone. There are inflammatory bowel diseases such as uh, Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. Those may present with blood in the stool. You can get milk protein allergy or other food allergies, celiac disease. So if your child is having chronic abdominal pain and it doesn't seem to be something simple like constipation, absolutely talk to your doctor. You're probably going to have to work together to figure out what's going on. Fortunately, a thorough medical history examination and sometimes labs, stool studies, and x-rays can help figure out what is going on and hopefully you can arrive at a conclusion and make it better. Talking about causes of abdominal pain, lower abdominal pain in children, I'm Dr. David Hill.